What's going on, Dragon Ball Z fans? I'm Vertami Gaming here today, bringing you some news, information, and updates surrounding Dragon Ball Super and the Universal Six story arc scheduled for Dragon Ball Super in the coming months. Now, first and foremost, I do want to get into the uh, Beerus and Shampa story arc and why they have so much animosity towards one another. Now, uh, Herms from Kazenshu actually just recently uh, translated Chapter Six, and during that translation, we actually found out the original beef between both brothers Shampa and Beerus. Now, it was said that when they were both born on Shampa's birthday birthday, Beerus actually decided to eat uh, Champa's Puff Puffs, and from then on in, they began to fight, and many planets were destroyed during that battle, so Beerus and, and, and Champa actually fought at one point uh, to the extent where many planets were destroyed. Now, there was no exact number onto how many planets were destroyed, uh, but they battled over food. Beerus decided to uh, pretty much eat Champa's food, and Champa went gaga, and he attacked Beerus, and they fought. So, that explains a lot, actually, on, on, on how Beerus is so uh, greedy within the movies and the TV show. Uh, obviously, he loves food. He craves delicacy, um, th which explains why he always demands food from Bulma, from Whis, and stuff like that. E even Goku and Vegeta, you know, offering food for training. So uh, that explains Beerus's greedy side because he was greedy enough to eat his brother's food on his own birthday. So uh, they have, you know, an everlasting beef between that. They, th that was the only time, as of right now, that we know of where they fought to, to the point where like things were getting destroyed. Although, here's the question: here now, if Beerus and Whis were both born at, at at a certain point in time, my question is how and who created both Beerus and Whis? Um, ultimately, I think that throughout every creation, uh, there is a creator, and I do feel as if there is an ultimate creator behind all designs. Perhaps maybe there is someone out there of infinite knowledge, infinite wisdom, infinite durability, infinite power in general, but besides from that, they don't fight in this tournament because they know the extent of their damage and all the carnage that they could cause through their battles. Um, ultimately, for me, as a fan, I would love to see them fight, uh, but their origin story traces back to when they were kids. I mean, did anybody here expect anything different? They're brothers. If anybody out there watching this right now has a sibling, uh, you can relate to that because how many times have you been greedy into taking some of your siblings' items or maybe uh, your, uh, your your siblings taking some of your items or maybe eating your food? So stuff like that happens, but they actually got into a fist fight. They beat the crap out of each other, and over a period of time, uh, they didn't really see eye to eye, which is why when Shampa first arrived, he was like, it's time for a showdown and Goku was like whoa they're gonna fight um and e even even when you know Goku insisted to know who was stronger Shampa was like well we're not gonna fight we're gonna make people fight for us so as a deity as a god it kind of makes sense because it's like oh well all right I see how it is it's like you don't want to fight your brother so you're gonna let other people fight for you it just makes sense uh now for me personally the super giant dragon balls as you guys may have seen my previous update on the super giant dragon balls uh Shampa has six and those dragon balls are the size of planets which is freaking awesome now there is one more for him to collect, and he cannot possibly find out where it is. Perhaps maybe Beerus knows, he just doesn't care for it too much, but then again, either or, I mean, what would Beerus even wish for if he had the Dragon Balls and vice versa? So, uh, I mean, I just think that at some point we will see Shampa fight. I wouldn't see why uh, he would be included in this franchise and not fight. Uh, then again, I could be wrong. Maybe Shampa never fights. Who knows? Akira Toriyama is a very strange man, but we have to thank him for all the material because if it were not for him, we wouldn't be having this stuff and 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 for years now a lot of you guys may already know we've been begging for a new series and now that we finally have one this is taking things to an extreme i mean this we're talking about a universal god battle over food over planets we have dragon balls the size of planets we have zuno who's going to be this mysterious character that that's introduced who is pretty much all knowledgeable and stuff like that known by jocko so that that's that is just absolutely mind-blowing but i think personally that uh both brothers will not physically engage in battle uh during this series perhaps maybe we'll see sean Shampa fight Goku or Shampa fight uh, Vegeta or maybe, you know, Beerus and Whis are like, you know what? Fuck it. How about us two? We fight the Saiyans. It it's Beerus and Shampa versus Super Saiyan Blue, uh, Goku and Vegeta. That, that would be freaking mind-blowing. Or maybe or maybe Vados as well. Vados is another character that I would love to see uh, demonstrate her power because uh, according to the manga, she was the one that trained Whis, so she's slightly stronger according to her until Whis showed up and he was like, well, it's been a thousand years and I beg to differ. So, um, for me personally, I think this is going to be such an engagement story now a lot of you guys a lot of you guys are pissed off because Gohan is not going to be a part of the the, the uh, team uh, competing for for the tournaments and stuff like that now listen to me very carefully I think that there is an ultimate plan for Gohan if you go back and you watch the Dragon Ball intro right go back and watch it and you see Gohan fight you see Gohan power up and he's doing some sort of energy blast uh, which, which kind of insinuates that Gohan will be used at some point so this this may not be the official right like right off of Gohan I just think that they're planning on saving him for a much bigger role. Oh. 
Then again, I could be wrong. Uh, they might never use Gohan ever again. But I just think as of right now, he's not that relevant. They ought to give the shine to other characters like Piccolo and Majin Buu. Um, I think Gohan will have somewhat of an impact one final run at some point during the series. I don't see why they wouldn't utilize him. Um, but at this particular moment, he is not of use. So let me know what you guys think down below of Shampa and Beerus' origins about Beerus eating uh, Shampa's Puff Puffs and pretty much ruining his birthday. Let me know down below, guys, on what you guys expect to see once again guys thank you all for watching if you guys are dragon ball fans don't forget to subscribe to my channel for all the latest news information updates what if battles and tons of more content guys if you guys enjoyed if you guys are stoked about dragon ball super smash that like button with the power of a thousand super saiyan gods leave your thoughts in the comment section below guys check out my previous updates and i'll be seeing you all in the next episode take it easy saiyans peace